Hello and uh, welcome to a uh, video about how to make uh, network diagrams. I have, um, I'm personally using uh, Wired for these things. Um, it's a closed source program, uh, Java and so on. It has all the buzzwords that I don't like, but this is a really nice program for these purposes and I just haven't found a good alternative yet. So here goes, we are using Wired and I'm gonna give you some examples on how to use it to create um, nice uh, network diagrams. So the first things first is to um, why it is made by Yworks or however they want to um, uh, pronounce it. So we go to uh, download and um, I'm using uh, Linux for these things. So, and I have already installed it and so on. So I'm just gonna show you that here it is. We're gonna install it, we're gonna use it. And then um, it will look something like um, something like this. I have already uh, made a couple of diagrams here, but uh, let's make a new one. So normally we would just take some uh, shapes and uh, add some links between them. Uh, we can uh, change how they look. We can change uh, the edge types. Um, something with arrows might make sense in some cases. We can add um, some text here. And we can, you know, change the color of this and so on. All the usual stuff, this works nicely. <clears throat> so, if you want to make a network diagram, we are, we of course want to have uh, some computers. Um, this is a server. And uh, this is uh, some sort of uh, NAS, if you like that. And I usually use this one for um, uh, databases. And then what I usually do is that I'm taking the, um, where is it, flowchart. I usually take the cloud and use it to signify a subnet. And control set to undo. And then we click the, sorry, the edge types back to nothing and then we connect these and this this um, has th th there are some layout technical thing I would like to mention here if I go to this guy here I can give it a name and I can also what I usually do when I make these diagrams I can give it an IP address So from a uh, layout technical point of view, this makes a lot of sense to have it here. And then there's another little trick I really like to use is to add, this was F2, it's the same as saying edit label. This is perhaps dot 100, and this is dot 101, and this is dot 102. And what I like to do is to do like this and change the background color to white. Did I successfully do that? No, I did not. To white. And here also. Um, and this is, uh, so now we have um, in a nice, in my opinion, super readable fashion, shown that we have three devices. They all connected to this subnet, this LAN segment, and it has these IP addresses on this. So instead of typing something very long, we just type the uh, last um, host octet. Um, this is to, this, this makes it more of a shorthand thing. Um, and now of course we want to, um, I usually do this also where I have the, um, the internet and we might have uh, for a server that I use a lot for testing for my students is um, 8888. And this guy, I sometimes do like this to, you know, give it a different color than the rest. And now we want, now we need the router thing. Um, what I recommend is that um, I, I found the uh, Cisco uh, toolbox for this. Um, 
Cisco has a insane amount of icons for all their different types of devices. Um, most of them is borderline useless for most people, but there are the uh, router and there are the uh, switch, both of which I find to be super useful. So um, we connect this and we do this one as uh, dot one. Um, uh, let's assume we don't know what the other one is. So we just add this one here and make the background white. Um, and this is router. So now we have successfully made a nice diagram with our elements in them. We can see the IP addresses, we can see the subnet, and we can add multiple subnets like this. And we also have the some offsite server, which is um, what we usually want to talk about. So when we have a diagram like this, we can use it easily for uh, debugging and we can use it for um, planning and design. The first iteration of this, I always recommend putting it on pay, pen and paper when you discuss it with people so that uh, you are in agreement about what you're trying to achieve. Uh, a couple of extra things I want to mention. We have a uh, the uh, the uh, tools for what is it? Hmm. Align nodes, so I can align them, uh, distribute them vertically, for example, and I can um, align them um, bottom vertical. It is horizontal. I want yes. And I might want to do this so this line is uh, horizontal. So now I have a nice looking diagram. Um, these um, Cisco um, icons are not included by default. Um, they are downloadable from the net. Um, if I can find the appropriate tab. It's downloadable from the net. Um, I use the one from Danger89. He has gift wrapped them for me, so I'm just using that. So basically, you need to download either of these. I'm unsure what the difference is. I included both of them. And then you get all these icons. I show an example with the uh, common switch and the, and, the, uh, and the common router, which is hmm, this one, maybe. So you just go here and you download it to somewhere and then inside your editor um, inside your editor you you can right click over here manage palette palette whatever it's called and then you can import section and choose the uh, graphml files and then they will appear as you see over here um, I also added something called uh, logos, where I have uh, where you can import symbols. Uh, currently, the only logo I have is the Kali Linux one. This um, is probably able to do this better, uh, but uh, you, you might have a Kali box somewhere. Perhaps you prefer the the one with the dragon. But again, you can just find uh, any PNGs online you want. I have uh, been using. Puppet, DPN, Kali, and so on, uh, all kinds of different logos to underline certain things in my diagrams. But this is the uh, way that I like to make um, uh, network diagrams. This is a logical diagram where we focus on the um, IP addresses. Um, I will post the um, links in the description, and uh, thank you for listening.